Hello everybody, I'm Slash from VC. Welcome back to the Cataclysm. Let's follow the adventures of Kanji Gurakawa and Bertie Hodges. First by turning on... Oh, ah, of course. My flashlight is dead because I forgot to turn it off last time. Oh my. Well, the candle won't help. The lighter won't help. And I'm not sure that I have another battery for the flashlight so I guess we'll just do this in the dark I got a comment from a viewer who said I missed a uh, uh, a gun safe and sure enough there's a gun safe right there that I overlooked thank you very much let's go have a look at that and there's bubble wrap is this locked does it tell me that it's locked yes it tells me that it's locked i can hit o and there's nothing to be opened nearby so should we try picking the lock or not i had another oh let's go over here to proficiencies you know how to pick a lock at least in theory now to get locksmith i'm 17 percent toward device manipulation where I can pick a lock in the dark blindfolded right can I practice that using a nearby safe that would be cool let's look at practice and see if we've got a lock picking practice thingy here yeah okay oh I need a device with a lock picking of five and a small lock and key to practice lock picking well, that will only get my devices um, to three, which it already is. Now, improvise the lock picking. I need a small lock and key to practice, although it won't raise my devices above three. So it looks like my lock picking is about as high as it can get. The only thing I don't have is a tool with a higher lock picking skill. Practice picking simple locks. Hmm. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do so we don't waste that. Um, I want to try, we'll try cutting this one open. And I'll save this one uh, for later. So we'll make a map note here. And then uh, we'll use... Uh, like that. There we go. Uh, two safes. Okay. Yeah, we'll be back for that. Either we will get... Um, okay, can we craft a better lockpick? Here we go. There's the next question. No. We've got the skill, and we've got the rudimentary, and we've got the improvised. Okay. That's all right. We'll bring the acetylene torch up to the other one here in a minute. I haven't looked in here yet. So this is the gun range. I wish I had a battery for my flashlight, but I think that's in the car. All right, not much in here. Benji, I don't think, needs earplugs, does he? Let's see. Maybe? Oh, I'm carrying a lot of stuff. I'm carrying a lot of stuff. Let's see if I'm carrying uh, what kind of I got in my tools here. Yeah, so I brought like, okay, I picked up a soldering iron as loot. That's what it is. So we may want to bring the um, car up here. Then we can grab all this uh, book loot and so on. Yeah, I think I'll bring the car up here before we do much else. All right, we've got a fat zombie and a Rottweiler and a crawler is all we've really got. And they're all to the north quite a ways. The fat zombie has seen us. And here he comes. All right, 
Nothing else has seen us. Let's go back for the car. How far away is that? It's just right here. Feel like we're being chased <laughs> okay yeah there's one zombie coming Is this where I keep my useful stuff, I think? Yeah, this is where I've got my cash cards. I'm glad I brought those because we're going to go try to buy gasoline. And my spare weapons and tools, which uh, I thought included the arc welder, but it may not. No, apparently not. Let's see if I left one here. I brought the welding wire and the jerry cans. Yeah, but no. getting a little warm today now it looks like I dropped off a garbage bag I'm gonna favorite the garbage bag because that's a good way to loot a lot of items by dragging because then you only have to drag one item behind you I think is how that works all right now we've got it favorited I'll swap positions with birdie Great. All right, we're on our way. Now, I don't want the car to get um, banged up, so maybe I shouldn't pull too far up. I think we'll just stop right there. We can, uh, go ahead and get some gasoline out of this thing. We've got all the privacy we need. Oh, this way? Right, okay, great. That one's been, uh, sucked dry. I don't quite remember. I, it's been, uh, about four days since I played with this character, so... All right, that one doesn't have anything to siphon. I doubt this one does. We may have done that in the last episode, and I just don't remember it. No worries. So as far as what we want to actually loot from here, um, I definitely need to grab the books, I guess. That one, the Dow of something or other. Okay, now we've got guns. We need to smash our way into these, right? Actually, aren't these locked? Ah, here's a way to practice our lock picking. I didn't think about that. I always just smash these racks. Okay, shouldn't take long. This is going, yeah, pretty fast. It stumped my efforts, but this is a thing where, um, Oh, looky there. You suddenly register a buzzing in your senses. It's getting louder and your head starts to throb. Something is coming. Oh, no. Oh, um. This is not when I was uh, thinking about <laughs> taking this on. I've done this multiple times with um, Mark Crump. Now... What is the benefit that Mark got from it was a huge boost to his dexterity. Ah, uh, so. But I don't know what to do with my NPC, and I don't have anywhere to sleep. This, uh, if you haven't caught the earlier episodes with Mark Crump, this means that there is a portal storm inbound, or that it has touched down. Uh, so this is going to, uh, yeah, stop picking the lock. 
Let's see if it's already identified the uh, location of the Portal Storm Center. No, it hasn't yet. Well, it's going to be too late to drive home for sure. Yeah, there we go. I'm already seeing the purple effects. So it's 5 p.m. and we're in the middle of a loot run. Um, I have seen people hide in their car for this. Uh, how good is Kanji going to be at going in there? If I have a pistol, which I do, with some ammunition, which I do, I'm going to waste some ammo in there. But I can uh, shoot the creatures on the inside. Um, I can drop a bunch of my stuff, run in there and head out. But of course, once I get out of there, um, you know, the problem Mark had was that he had attracted a ginormous horde of creatures. Genji definitely would benefit from um, the stat increase. I mean, that's pretty attractive. I've got codeine, aspirin, and hemostatic powder. This stuff isn't really what I need to do a portal storm, though. What I really need to do the portal storm probably is some kind of coffee, uh, some kind of prescription stimulant or illegal stimulant. <laughs> illegal. Yeah, there's illegal stuff in the cataclysm. I'm tempted not to do this portal storm. Does Kanji need, uh, what was his dexterity would go up to like, uh, probably 13 or so. If I could do the portal storm. Or we've got some back rooms to hide in. Uh, we could just lock ourselves in this back room and wait it out. Yeah, I think that's the way I'm going to go with this because I'm not in the mood to do a portal storm right now. Um, I wish we had some way to sleep. Oh, we could get in the vehicle. But that's not guaranteed, though. I don't think. I think there's that's not the safest possible way. Um, the question is, can I use some of the... We've got clothes that we can use as a, as a, as a be, makeshift bed. And I wonder if I can use a lockpick to lock a door, too. I never thought about that. All right, here it is. This is it. I'm not doing the portal storm right now because I'm busy. Uh, let's close that door. And then I'm going to grab the uh, army pants, the beret, and the wool beret. The MRE package. Ooh, Kanji likes to use a shotgun, and a waste shotgun bandolier would be a nice thing to have. Is this a bear trap? Uh, offset sight rail and most of the gaunt M44. And this is a oop, this is a different kind of thing right here. Muzzle brake. Okay, so we've got some gun mods we should look at having. Another MRE package. Large tactical backpack. Hmm. I'm gonna grab that. Some items were not picked up. Where the large? Oop. What did I just put on? <laughs> Uh, wear the large tactical backpack just to get it on. Birdie, uh, close that door behind you. Let's go down here into this office. All right, now can I examine? Uh, I was hoping I could use a lockpick to lock this, <laughs> but I don't think I can. Let's try applying the lockpick. Oh no, I applied it. I applied it to the um. You hear a high-pitched squeal. Uh, stop picking the lock. Yes. Stop picking the lock. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, I won't be able to give... Oh, wait. No. We can't sleep on bubble wrap. I don't guess. This is a good place to stand. I mean, if, uh, if the um, weird interdimensional creatures open that door... We're both standing here, so we can take care of it. I'm going to drop the tactical backpack here. Actually, I'm going to drop multiple things. We'll drop the uh, beret, bandolier, army pants and stuff right there in case I get a chance to lay down and sleep. Yeah. 
Now, just out of curiosity, I want to compare these two backpacks. So I've heard the hiking backpack is the best to begin with, but just out of curiosity, when it says large tactical, I mean, that sounds really good, right? So let's have a look at how good. Now, the... Uh, looks like... Um, Encumbrance when full is greater on the uh, large tactical backpack, but does it hold more volume? Okay, it's got a pocket with uh, 81 volume and 220 pounds of weight. The backpack I'm wearing doesn't say that. It says um, 77 and 200. Then it's got another pocket with 55 and 154, and another pocket with 5 and 22. Yeah, it looks like this has more pockets, more storage, uh, built-in um, carabiner or something like that. It's got seven pockets in it. I think the ta large tactical backpack might be better. Yeah, I feel that it is. Now, yeah, mm -hmm. so it's hard to tell about the value and everything because one of these is full. I think we can drop our existing backpack also just to get the combat uh, efficiency. All right. And then we'll uh, wait it out right here, I guess. Let's hit the wait button and we'll wait till uh, daylight. Ignore that. Luckily, we have birdies set not to investigate noises. Okay. Um, we've gotten the achievement to survive a portal storm. Now, I wonder why we got the achievement to survive a portal storm. Each character gets unique achievements? I thought they were across the board. I thought once I survived a portal storm, all characters, you know, like that trophy was done. That was a brief portal storm. Um, I never did look to see where it landed. Let's put on the uh, tactical backpack real quick. Large tactical backpack. And then we ought to be able to get everything that we had in our other backpack and put it in this one. What? Our torso encumbrance is 58. Yeah, it may have a higher encumbrance for sure. Holy moly. Oh, this is because we're wearing two holsters, possibly. So I've got one holster with trap and field um, holstered. Let's take that off. No, that didn't help much. So what's bringing our torso encumbrance up so high? This large tactical backpack is that bad? Holy moly. Uh, page down or this one? It's not that key. Uh, is it this key? That key? How do I look down here? Uh, torso. Scratched wetsuit, right armor suit, binoculars, police duty belt, large tactical backpack, 44 encumbrance. Holy moly. Well, we'll see what it is once we uh, unload some of the stuff we picked up, I guess. So, the question is, I'm still hearing things all around. Is the portal storm truly over? Apparently. Now it's 5 p.m., so I think we're going to wind up sleeping in the car tonight. Alright, I'm going to open the door. If there's any enemies, we obviously have to take this backpack. Okay, we've got a zombie medic, and that's the only visible foe. I think we're good.
Ah, hey. Stop beating up on my car, you son of a bitch. Oh, 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 oh. Run this way. Oh, I think Birdie got grabbed. Oh, son of a bitch. Can I run around the car to help her out? I can't get through there now. She's stuck in the alley. Okay, she got, she broke loose. Birdie, hop in the car. Good girl. Okay. How's she doing? Let's look at her, her status. Did she get injured? Looks like, uh, oh no. Examine her wounds. Nah, she didn't even get hit. Okay, good. Let's go back to a wall. And she killed everybody. Okay. Just hang out here for a minute. My job here is uh, to be a tactician. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, do we need the? Okay, we already took a pass on the bolt cutters, cotton balls. Uh, uh, cigarette pack may have cigarettes in it. It might have two cigarettes in it. Okay. So everybody's dead. Wow, Bertie. You're beyond amazing, love. Did I? What was a lockpick doing there? That was weird. Oh, it's one I crafted. I guess I dropped it when I crafted it. Alright, let's drop off these loots. So none of this stuff is even in my backpack, right? So, with nothing in my backpack at all, my torso encumbrance is 13 to begin with, so that's what it is. Let's put this on. Unload everything. Yeah, that backpack's a lot more encumbering than the other one, man. Huh. Alright, we'll wear it for a little while and see how it does. We may leave it, leave it behind. But anyway... I guess we're still just basically uh, moving toward, if I remember our episode, we're going to do the police station and the gas station. So, what's our next best uh, place to battle zombies from? Ooh, we don't have any vehicles to fight from for a while. Got to get on the other side of the graveyard, and then there's four vehicles up there. And we got an alley here and with an abandoned storefront and a church. Hmm. Okay, the hardware store definitely looks like it's loaded down with goodies. I'm going to head in this direction over here. Hey, is this an open grave? Yeah, shallow pit. Sure enough. Shallow pit. Well, so some of these dead actually appear to have risen from their graves. Uh, although this is the graveside. See this uh, this here. So this would be the grave. And then there's a shallow pit on the other side of the grave. And then this would be the grave. And there's a shallow pit on the other side. So I'm not sure what those pits are doing there. But anyway, let's move toward the hardware store. See, can he get over those? Yeah, and there's a high move cost associated with it, I believe. <laughs> Zombie child has seen us, but it'll have to uh, break all the way through that fence if it wants to get to us. So. Which it's trying to do. Too bad neither of us have a... Oh! Here we go. Got a few more. One, two, three. And this is a uh, police car. Yeah, of course, because this is the police station. Ah, the police station adjoins the gun store. <laughs> All right, very good. So these guys are going to bust out of here. 
And that child's going to bust out of there eventually. Huh. It's probably time to drop the backpack. Um, hmm. Well, we could just walk around to the front, I think. Unless we're going to see a lot more zombies. Nope. If they'll just come this way... Or we can meet them in the car here. Hey. You zombies. Oh, one of them's brainless. That's why he's behaving erratically. Wow, that brainless zombie headed right for me, though. Caffeinated chewing gum. Alright, we're grabbing that for the next portal storm. Nicotine gum makes you happy, right? But I'm not going to grab it. And fried seeds. A cigar. I wonder if uh, Kanji wants to start smoking cigars. Uh, is this a police car? There might be something in the, uh, storage compartment. Ah, nothing there. Okay, we got two zombies destroying the hardware store, and weirdly, this vehicle is blocking the door. It's a flatbed truck. Oh, of course, that's a delivery truck or something. <laughs> so cool! Okay, so the front door of the hardware store is over here. Uh, maybe we could assist these zombies by uh, whacking through right here, and then we could come in the back. What do we got over here? Door hinges, wooden beams, quick lime, wooden posts. You know, I wonder if there might be a lock set in here, lock and key set in here that we could practice with. Short wooden posts, commercial fertilizer, cement. Plastic sheets, gravel, planks, spikes. Interesting stuff. So, mm, yeah. Okay, let's just hack our way in this way. Here. Let me help you. Oh. Breadboard. I think I've looked at this before. Solderless small brick of plastic with a few components. You could quickly build a circuit on that. Mark Crump could build a circuit on that. Kanji Kurakawa could not. Let's stop our torso bleeding. Put the backpack back on. Is this a rope? It is. We always want a short rope. Rigid plastic sheets. You know, probably we're going to want to grab absolutely everything that's here. Polycarbonate sheets, pipes and wood blocks, gravel, hinges, spikes, planks. Let's go look on the inside of the store. Oh yeah, we've got nails. <gasps> nails. There's a thousand nails. Oh, there you go. That's mission complete for the uh, sawmill. That's what they were looking for. Grab a thousand nails. Let's look at our missions again. We need to find a hospital. Find the source of the robots. That's the Mountain Butte. The Magnetrons. I want to look at like a recycling center, I think, for that. But anyway, we need to find microwaves. Get a thousand nails. Haha. -ha. Objective completed. Now we need 10 regular size cardboard boxes, a makeshift haircut kit, I forgot about that, a reference manual about air rifles, and, excuse me, 50 doses of antiseptic? Holy crap, I didn't realize it was 50. I thought it was like five. Gravel and limestone, all kind of stuff, okay. Hey, maybe they got a battery for my stinking flashlight in here. Let's hit view mode, this will be a little easier. Reciprocating, co oh, scissors for the uh, uh, hair cutting kit, I guess. 
an electric kiln hmm. for firing clay tongue and groove pliers slip joint pliers bent at the elbow uh, that's not as good as a wrench apparently garden hose you can use this for siphoning <laughs> a little long though don't you think uh, cash register water faucet what the hell do I need a water faucet for, honestly? It can be attached to a water tank. What? <laughs> um, glass shards, green paint, black paint, purple paint. Yeah, okay, we could paint the prison. Oh, these are all plastic bottles. Turpentine, detergent, and lye. Canvas sack of commercial fertilizer, wire. Ooh! We got thread du and duct tape and long rope here. These are all small cardboard boxes, not some bolts. Wood panels, wooden beams, wooden posts. Oh, we're looking outside now. Okay. Well, hmm. So that's the paint aisle, and this is the plumbing aisle. I get it. Okay. <laughs> Oh, very cool, man. Very cool. Duct tape and the rope, for sure. Nine wires. That's going to become lock picks the way we've been going. Always need the thread. We'll take the scissors so we can build the haircut kit for what's-her-name. Dust mask doesn't fit. Mop we don't need. Boots we can't wear. Don't know what to do with the lye powder. And then we've got our heavy tools up here. These are our kilns and jackhammers and stuff. Now I'm wondering if I can get a battery out of one of these that I can use in my flashlight. So let's unload concrete mixer, a kiln. These have gas. Uh, that has gasoline in it, so I can siphon. Yeah. Hey, what if I? Uh, Unload the jackhammer from the gasoline. It'll say pour it into a container and I can pick my zipper bags. There we go. Cool. Nope. I didn't get any batteries that are compatible with my flashlight that time. So, yeah, and everything's all split up, too. What's going on here? I want everything to go in one pocket. What the hell, dude? I got medium batteries and heavy batteries. None of those are compatible with my flashlight. Curve. We know how to deal with this problem of the backpack, too. I need to look at the pocket settings and pick the biggest pocket, which is what? This is a 55-liter pocket. Is that the biggest one? So if I pick the biggest pocket, and then I set the priority on the pocket, and I set the priority to, like, 50. And then I, um, drop everything right here, and then pick everything back up. Uh, uh, let's see if everything's still all split up. Yeah, like, my gummy vitamins are everywhere. Like, what pocket are they in? That they're just like, I've got one gummy vitamin in each pocket. How did that happen? What a pain in the... Let's examine this. Alright, here we go. So, the main pocket... Doesn't have anything in it. Everything went into pocket one. Oh, okay. Yeah, pocket one. And pocket two. And pocket three. I want my, uh, I think I want my other backpack back. This is fucking crazy. Alright, we don't need any of these big tools, I don't think. Now, I didn't unload whatever this is. Oh, we can unload the gasoline out of that, too. There we 
There we go. So how much gasoline have we gotten out of there so far? 424, 658, and 7. Hmm. Okay, the concrete mixer has something in it we can take out. All right, now we got all the batteries from that stuff. And we're seeing zombies to the north. All right, next stop, I want to go to the gas station. Probably missing some good tools right here right now, but we still got zombies out there. And I think it's safe to pull our vehicle forward, so... We ought to be able to refill the vehicle now. Whoops, not that tank. I want to refill this tank until it's like the other tank. Yeah, it's like a liter of gasoline or something. gonna zoom way out so as soon as I see zombies I'll probably stop driving because I want to keep my car good she says wicked oh my lord a zombie runner northeast at a long distance okay I'm hearing crashes from inside the abandoned storefront we should go check that out we could park mm, we want to park in the middle of the street I'm going to turn this way. Keep your head on a swivel, she says. All right, we're starting to see zombies now. Yeah, we're seeing zombies everywhere. So here's what I'm thinking. We drive over this way. We can hop out into any of these uh, dead cars to our battlefields, right? That'd probably be a pretty good idea. Just park right between these two and then hop out into them. What do you guys think? Am I thinking tactically or stupidly? Let's try it. Oh. Uh-oh. It's probably a good plan if I had that kind of driving skill. All right, uh, let's go to zero miles an hour. Stop driving. We're going to hop out. Come on, birdie. Ignore them banging on our vehicle. All right, we're going to hop into this one. Or, yeah, we're going to hop in. I'm getting in. Probably not the best choice, but it could be worse. What is that? That's a fatty. That's a fatty. Okay. Oh, I've got the backpack on, so that's not good. Ooh. Very difficult time. Drop the backpack. Yeah, I just basically ran out of time to get over here and act out my plan. We'll take the cough syrup. And um, the popcorn. I don't know what's in the cigar case. We'll just grab it. This guy was a letter carrier. Had nothing really on him. And that guy was also a letter carrier. Okay, I want to try to stop the bleeding. I've got I got bleeding in three different areas. There we go. Nope, I grabbed the wrong weapon. Somebody had a machete. Give me. Oh, that was my machete. I'm an idiot. Weapons, tools. There, wield that. What? I can't store the machete? How's that possible? 
Oh, the fire axe is on the Howling on Bar now. I didn't tell it to do that. Okay, now that it's on the Halligan Bar, what's going on with it? When they're wedded, it's uh, 1530 moves per attack, 226. That's why I was attacking so slow. Unload this. Your back seat is full, so it fell to the pavement. All right, wear the backpack. Get the things that fell out. There. Okay, unload the fire axe from the Halligan bar, and it fell to the pavement. What? Dude, this is a large tactical backpack with almost nothing in it. How is it falling out? I don't understand. Something has changed. Did the backpack get damaged? Huh. Weird. Okay, the police duty belt is holding a lot of stuff. So let's unload that. What has that got in it? That's got... Most of my stuff is in the police duty belt. Unload that. And now unload the Halligan bar. Nope, fell to the pavement. Cargo pants have 10 items. Police duty belt has none. I just don't understand how that Halligan bar can not fit in this tactical backpack, so... Did I have it strapped to something before? <clears throat> oh, yeah, here. So now I want to insert into that the Halligan bar. Yeah, I can't hold it. All right, this tactical backpack is not good. It's getting me killed, man. All right. So we got like three zombies visible left in that direction. Let's put the Halligan bar back in the vehicle until we can change backpacks. Uh, do we do it like this? There. Put that in there so my fire axe is unimpeded. Okay. So now everything is pretty much... Okay, I got 35 items in there. None in the police duty belt. So I'd like to assign some things to that. I ought to be able to insert several things. So my police duty belt. I want to insert some stuff. Okay, we ought to put away our uh, flashlight on it. Okay. And our rubber hose, maybe. Our screwdriver. See how that does. Could not put the rubber hose. Heavy duty flashlight. Aborting. Okay, it took the flashlight. That's it. How many things can it take? Several pouches and a holder for a baton. Yeah, okay. It's maybe not helping us that much. Alright, whatever. We got rid of the Halligan bar, but I liked carrying that. Maybe we can switch back to the other backpack while we're waiting for the zombies to appear. Yeah, they haven't seen us. Let's do that. I don't like this backpack. That's a regular backpack. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. I think we left our hiking backpack behind. Shit. So now that we've got our um, hiking backpack on, our torso encumbrance is 20 points less. So 
so we'll just drop that large tactical in there. I want to get my Halligan bar back out. I think it'll fit. Spare parts, containers, tools, Halligan bar, inventory, load. Unload. You put that in your inventory. Yeah, there we go. Now all is right with the world. Okay. All right, we should check out the uh, police station, I guess. E Ink Tablet PC. I think he has that. Beauty Magazine. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh, hello. Why are you attacking our vehicle? Are you just hateful? Ah, 11 cigarettes. We're getting closer to the 100 cigarette mark. All right, how far to the gas station? It's just right across the street. I want to check that out. Oh, wait. We haven't tried siphoning from these vehicles yet. Let's try that. Uh, we need to get our jerry can up because using them, damn. Um, well, the gallon bags are awesome, actually. We could put everything in a steel drum. Hey, actually, that's why I brought the drum. If we've got like millions of gallons of gasoline in the gas station, it's all going in the steel drum. All right, so somewhere in here we've got a uh, container. Yeah, here we go. Two plastic jerry cans. Just in case these actually have a lot of good stuff. Pull out of there. Okay, no liquid fuel. And no liquid fuel. Whoops. <sighs> I almost used my lighter on the car. Uh, select a tank to siphon from. This one. Container. Jerry can. So this one had a little. Uh, I'd be able to put it in that one. Okay. This is in good shape, by the way. It's a little hatchback. Cute little car. Not what we're looking for, though. I don't think. Apply the rubber hose. Good. This one has, like, a lot of gasoline. Low-end cube van. And I think that's all of it. Yeah. Great. Okay, we got lots of gas. Hey, there's another vehicle right here. Okay, that has no fuel. This is nothing but trunk space right there, folks. Um, okay, now we've come back around to the side of, we've already seen this side of that building. All right, fantastic. Put some gas in our car and then go to the gas station. Alright, we're at 25 liters of fuel now. <clears throat> and here's the gas station. So I've never seen a gas station before. You probably have if you're watching this video. <clears throat> Precious gasoline. <laughs> I like how it says that. So this is the description of the gasoline pump. Precious gasoline. Former world bowed to their petroleum god as it led them to their ruin. I uh, don't think gasoline caused the cataclysm, but okay. There's plenty left over to fuel your inner road warrior. If this gas dispenser doesn't give up the goods for free, you may have to pay at a nearby terminal. And a diesel pump. Now this is the main attraction for me, because this is to fill our prison van. Now, the gas station itself is going to have... Is this a gas station? This is a garage. 
archery for kids, Glamopolitan, car buyers monthly, and other books, plus food items, plus a bottle jack. Oh yeah, this garage is going to be very lootable. Hell yeah. Here's my question though. I only see one pump here. But I'd say the garage is probably a part of the overall gas station, right? What do we got here? This is going to be vending machines. Okay. Yeah, we just haven't seen the rest of it, I think. If I look at my map, it says garage, gas station. Garage, garage. Oh. Is it three garages and two gas pumps, maybe? I don't know. We'll have to get closer and see. So let's go ahead and do that. Trying to decide whether to back up the car. What's our battlefield over here? Well, we've only got one zombie visible. And then we've got this car to fight from. So, should we just walk across the street? Hmm. Um, come on, Birdie. I don't want to hurt our car. So, I'm going to uh, take off my backpack right here. Uh, actually, I've already done that. Is that correct? Wait. Wait. Where's my backpack? Holster, binoculars, duty belt. There. Oh, okay. I've got the backpack. All right. Good. Let's favorite the backpack and the cargo pants. I don't know how they got unfavorited. Okay. Drop the backpack here just so we can fight. And then we'll run back over and grab it. Actually, we'll probably grab the gas can. Oh, shit. I'm seeing a lot of zombies over here. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. We're going to want to pick our battlefields. For sure. Oh, yeah. One, two, three of them right there visible. Okay. Once they get interested in us. What's this? Standing tanks outside the community garden. Okay. This little hatchback with bike rack will probably be our battlefield then. And then this is another good one. So we'll head northwest from where I am toward that vehicle. Incoming slavering biter to the southeast. Ooh, shoot. Yeah, I see the slavering biter. Um, he's not seen us yet, but probably attracted to the noise. What is a slavering biter? Biter. Oh, this is a hostile, very dangerous creature. A distorted and swollen human body. Its jaws have elongated into crocodile-like snout, dripping with foul-smelling saliva. I think that's a uh, use your gun on it kind of creature. All right, we got a runner inbound. Let's go up here and examine the diesel pump, and we may have to run for it back to our car and do a kind of a uh, run-and-gun type strategy. How's the slavering biter doing? Mm -hmm. Interesting. I'm going to guess if he bites you, you know something bit you. Come on. Oh, he came around. really there anything else seen us yeah we got a fat zombie coming out of the uh, garage it looks like I just want to see this gasoline pump use the diesel pump yes or into a container you don't have a suitable container for carrying diesel uh oh well don't do anything at all then how much diesel does it have in it it's not really saying uh, at least we didn't spill it. Okay, so we're going to need either that drum or the steel jerry cans, apparently. I didn't know that the... Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, of course I don't have a suitable container for carrying diesel. My bad. But it's got 47,000 diesel. So, that is good news for our prison van, ladies and gentlemen. 
These zombies still haven't seen us. Are they coming forward though? The slavering biter, is he getting closer? Not really. I can see them on my mini map, but they don't seem that dangerous. Yet. All right, I ought to be able to get my vehicle and pull it up the street away from the mass of those things. And, I mean, we're already to the edge of town, so no big deal. What is this? We've got a bank. Is there anything good in banks? I don't know. All right. Let's move back toward our vehicle here. All right, now we've gotten the attention of something. Okay, fat zombie. Let's go ahead and let the, her come, him, her come down here. You know, you never know in Sherman what they might be. That worked well. Coming. Hop over this bike. Uh, I don't think a hand rolled cigarette is going to count for our mission, so we'll just leave that. Okay, that fat zombie still wants to come over here, but hasn't broken the glass yet, so let's go get our vehicle. Oh, first I need to get my backpack. Sorry, Birdie, for the false alarm here. You know how I am, though. Uh, I know, you want to drive so bad you can't stand it. Wondering if I could get uh, close enough to that pump to circumvent, you know, using a jerry can, but probably not. Now, this car, okay, no, this car did not alert any of the zombies to our location, so that's good. Alright, we'll just pull right up here and I'll grab all the diesel I can, maybe out of the, uh, maybe I'll put it in the uh, 100 liter uh, tank that I brought. Okay, 100 liter steel drum. Now whether we're going to be able to pick that back up when it's full of diesel, I don't know. So let's try it. Actually, if we, uh, <clears throat> we probably don't want to fill that up unless we have to, right? So, but anyway, anybody's seen us that we got to worry about? Not too bad. Okay, apply the rubber hose. There's no vehicle here. Examine the diesel pump. Pour into a container. We have the plastic jerry cans. Okay, there's some left over. Examine. Yes. Pour into a container. Plastic jerry can. Ignore him. He's coming on. Only got two of them. Okay, me and Birdie can handle that. There is some left over. The only thing I'm worried about, what if I put the diesel in the drum, and then I can't pick the drum back up? Because then it's going to be a lot heavier with diesel in it. Then I could drag it, but I may not be able to drag it into the vehicle. That's my fear. <laughs> so, it doesn't tell me how much is left in the pump, but like, I've already gotten however many liters that is. 10 liters times 2. So we've gotten 20 liters of diesel already. That's great. Um, let's go ahead and grab the steel jerry cans. The only thing, yeah, uh, oh, 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 okay. Yeah, if I can get the car up to the pump, I should be able to fill it up out of the, out of the gas pump. Okay, hold on. Let's drop the, um, two jerry cans full of diesel. Hey, Birdie! 
Help me. Oh, I'm not wielding anything. Help me, birdie. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, let's uh, let's pull up to the gasoline tank and see if we can do things that way. Okay, I take control of the SUV. I'm just going to back up a little bit here, and then we'll just pull straight forward again. No, yeah, oh, that's fine. That ought to do it. <clears throat> so if I'm standing right here <clears throat> and I examine the gasoline pump and I can fill the nearby SUV, fill that tank. Okay, with a clang and a shudder, the gasoline pump glows silent. <clears throat> so I'm going to guess that's now empty. How much gasoline did we get? Oh. We got like 50 liters of gasoline in our uh, SUV now. So that tells me how much I can expect to get out of that diesel pump. All right. Well, we don't need to be siphoning any more out of anything now, do we? For gas. Let's get the uh, steel jerry can. Where's our steel jerry can? View. Steel. Oh, well, we got the steel drum. Uh, okay, there's the plastic ones. There's nothing there. What? There's nothing here? Oh. Okay, this is too plastic. Here we go. Okay, I must have dropped it further in. Right here? Yeah, two steel jerry cans. Some items were not picked up. Yeah, because I can only carry one at a time. That's another good amount of that. Let's get the other uh, cherry can. So this is not the most efficient, time efficient way to do this, I'm sure. Slavering Biter has closed in by about 10 squares, by the way. So as soon as I get this right here, I'm out of here. Here's the diesel pump, pour it into a container, steel cherry can. With a clang and a shutter, the diesel pump goes silent. So we did not need the drum to get all the diesel, so that's good. Now, the slavering biter is kind of on his way now. Yeah, like seriously closing in. So we can now move on to our next thing, I guess, which we were going to go check out the police station. So let's do that. Actually, we're out of time for this episode. So let's not do that. Um, thank you for joining me for the continuing adventures of... Who are we playing with again? Kanji Kawa? And uh, Bertie Hodges. So we've got uh, that jerry can wasn't even full. But we got a lot of diesel, I believe. We got four containers full of diesel, and we totally filled our car. So let's examine our car. No, examine our vehicle. Yeah, so we've got 70 liters of gasoline in the vehicle, which is 60% of our total possible gasoline. Wow. And then I was going to look and see, are there any more gasoline pumps, or is it just garage after garage? It looks like it's just a series of garages. Huh. All right. Well, uh, folks, uh, drop me a comment in the, on this episode, and uh, hopefully uh, we can figure out what's the best thing to do next. I think we're going to go to the police station and look for ammunition. And uh, we may search those garages for some kind of acetylene torch to try to cut the... Uh, the safe open with that I fouled up because I think there's a chance to set things on fire inside that safe. 
but um, won't matter since I fouled it up anyway. We'll see you in the next episode, and until then, take care.